I'm Lori. And I'm Trevor. And today we're going to show you how to put together the Huber hallway cart. When your cart shows up, it's going to arrive in a large box, typically about the size, weighing in about 150 pounds. So we're going to go ahead and open the box and show you what it looks like. For the purpose of this video, we have pre-opened it and we're going to go ahead and get started. We find it very helpful when you're opening the box to tear down the sides to give you a clean uh, surface to work on. So you'll tear down the sides of the box and remove the foam. Okay, and in the back here we have a shelf. We're just going to take this off to the side for when we're ready for it. We've got a box in the back of the storage area here with your casters and supporting holes and nuts and bolts. We would say step one, the easiest way to get to the wheels is to lay it on its back. So after opening the box, you'll find the tube for the top shelf, the drain plug. You'll also find a box inside with four casters and all the hardware. And the point of sale side shelf, as well as a rubber grommet and six screws to attach it to the side. Now that we've done that, Let's go ahead and open our box for the casters. All right, so opening up our box, we're gonna find four swivel casters inside. We've got two locking and then two non-locking. We're gonna place them in opposite corners, one here, one locking here, and one locking up there. Typically, when we put these on, we, we like to hand tighten the uh, threads just to make sure we don't cross thread them. But you will need a 14 millimeter wrench or socket to tighten these up. Next step is we're going to set the cart back up right on four wheels and lock the casters in place. Then you're going to get the box with the tubing and go ahead and insert the tubes into each of the Holes, and you want to make sure that you're pushing the tubes all the way down. You will fill it lock into place. We're going to set the top shelf on top of the posts. Make sure they lock in as well. And in your bag, you're going to have a bunch of set screws. You're going to make sure to tighten them inside the back of the cart. There's two set screws with a supplied Allen wrench at the bottom and two at the top. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove the protective film, that's white. This does come on so that it protects the stainless steel from getting scratched. So next we wanna install the drain. What you'll wanna do is take the nut off, leave the rubber wa uh, washer on the top side, and we'll go to install it. So we'll seat the drain in, and then tighten the nut from the back side. So next, we're gonna install the side shelf. So what you'll do is you'll use the preset holes located right here. We're going to pick up the side shelf. We're gonna put the grommet in there. A lot of people tend to grab the side shelf by the hole here, and it is kind of a sharp edge, so we'll make sure to put that in there for safety purposes. Okay. And it really helps if you have two people, so that way you can hold it and stabilize it while the other person begins to put the screws in and tightens them down. Once again, we always recommend to hand tighten the screws to avoid any cross threading. Here is the finished product. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call or visit us on hubert.com. Thanks for watching.